Hi everyone, welcome to the angel reading for this week, June 26th till July 3rd. And we've just come through the amazing, powerful solstice on June 22nd. So that energetic gateway that the angels are talking about is well and truly wide open. So this is a really great time for manifesting, setting intentions, and making sure that your thoughts are positive and clear. So this week I've decided to work with the unicorn card deck which is a diana cooper deck absolutely beautiful because this is a time of great light any of the solstices that we go through it's about the balance of dark and light doesn't matter where you are in the world and it's always about the light being you know the darkness is important of course we're not talking about fear and and love we're talking about dark and light but when we think about it from the perspective of love and hate or love and fear that love it always wins love is always the strongest energy so i want you to keep that in your heart as we work with the angels this week and find out what your messages are now pay attention to these messages i know that they seem general because i'm talking to the collective but actually i'm talking directly to you you're here for a reason the angels have lined you up with this message at this time so there is a sentence a word a paragraph maybe the whole thing is exactly what you most need to hear right now and you will hear it in the way you're meant to hear it because the angels will make sure that you do so let's get started i'm using the diana cooper magic of unicorns and radley valentine's angel wisdom tarot and they're telling me to work with the unicorns first and we ask for invite the presence of the angels to this session ask for invite the presence of archangel michael to protect the session to surround us in your bright blue and purple light archangel michael so that we're protected energetically physically psychically and in all ways, all the way through this week, thank you for sealing us in your blue light so that it repels negative energy and helps us to stay connected to the source energy for our highest good and to resolve all issues and problems and manifest the abundance that we most need and want right now. Thank you, angels, for directing this guidance. Now, I'm feeling the need to invoke your guardian angels. Your guardian angels are always with you, but we can ask them to step forward to contribute to this reading as well today. And I'm seeing Archangel Ariel, the angel of clairvoyance and abundance coming in. Her energy is this beautiful, bright pink. So very exciting energy when we invoke the angels. So what are your intentions for this week? You know, use this session with me to, to think about what you want to call in for the week ahead and what you want to get done, because the angels will definitely help you. So Archangel Michael, Gathered Angels, Guardian Angels, what messages do you have for my beautiful angel community? And what is it they most need to hear and know about this coming week? All right, so two from this deck. Ooh, I like those. Love it when the unicorns, you know, I was watching, I was going for a walk the other day and I'd been using the unicorn cards and a friend had pulled me a card um, in a meeting and it, it was a unicorn card. And then when I went for my walk, I saw all these amazing clouds that looked like unicorns with, with a pointy horn. I was like, there are no such things as synchronicity, right? It's not an accident. It's a message. It's a sign. And unicorn energy is pure love gentle kindness peaceful it's you know it's really really pure light which is very similar to the angels of course exactly the same all right i love this reading okay first card out present situation what you most need to know yes we've just gone through a massive shift through the solstice gateway and here we have oh i love this so much it's number 37 threes are about working with your soul the divine source, universe, and your angels. One, two, three, right? You are a spiritual being having a physical experience. You have a soul within you, which is connected to source. And your angels act as the messengers, the guides, the um, healers, the protectors. So they're like the representation of the divine on earth in your body. So here it says you are a spiritual warrior. I love that. Because being a spiritual warrior isn't about fighting and anger and, you know, war. It's about being, standing up for your um, beliefs. It's about being a warrior for the light, being someone who 
brings through the light, who uses love and light as their armor, as their weapons, if you want to call it that. So as Archangel Michael carries his sword of light to sever attachments of fear, that sword would never harm anyone. It's to cut away the negativity. It's to chase away the fear and the darkness, the, the lower energies. So you can do that too because you can invoke the angels. You can ask the angels to be with you. You can ask them to help you to overcome any problems, blockages, barriers, challenges, negative people in your life. And even on behalf of the world, you know, um, sometimes when I'm working with some of my clients, you know, some of my clients are working in kind of positions maybe in government or in um, positions where they influence a lot of people, even, you know, countries. And so them being light workers, light warriors, they can use their prayers, their invocations, their affirmations and intentions to bring the right energy to, to the company they work for, the institution. So you can do that too. You don't have to work for a big agency to do that. You can call on love and light wherever you see fear, negativity taking hold. So this card is saying you can call on the, you can command the universe, you can call on the energy of the angels and the universe to overcome problems that you are dealing with or that you see in the world. And in this card, there's this gorgeous light. Look, there's a white lion, there is a unicorn, there is a lamb, and there's all this angel energy and feathers and clouds. So it's reminding you of the spiritual beings that surround you. And the white represents light. It doesn't, you know, it's not, it's not color that's important really. So use the wisdom that is within you and call on the light for whatever you're facing this week. Remember that part of you, you know, I think it's easy to forget that part and, you know, feel like you're powerless and helpless against all of the, the things that are happening in the world, but you do have power. You can call on that divine light energy. Okay, the second card is number two. Now, number twos are like planting a seed and seeing it start to grow. So when you get those little seedlings from the garden center, that is the what the symbol of the number two. So if you see two to two, it's saying the manifestations you're putting out into the world are starting to sprout and you need to keep going. You have to keep watering them. You have to keep blessing them, using affirmations to bring them into reality. And this shows a unicorn, it's a gorgeous orb. There's a dove and there is um, sacred geometric symbols in there. It says, surrender your ego. Now, the second card is often a block card. So showing the block is, is your ego getting in the way? Now, everyone has an ego. It's nothing to be ashamed of, right? It's our shadow side. It's the part of us. The ego is also quite helpful sometimes because it protects us. It helps us to remember to eat. <laughs> you know, like there's some, there's such a thing as healthy ego and there's unhealthy ego. Now, unhealthy ego can be, judgment against other people, being negative, thinking you're better than everyone else, putting people down. Because ego is about separation. It's about them and us, right? So, and then you, you might have the ego, if it's not that, like that, your ego might be telling you that you're not good enough, that you're separate from other people because you're less than, and it keeps you small. So either ego is bad because it keeps you separate. It makes you forget that you're one with, with the universe, with everyone. And any kind of judgment is always going to separate and to make you feel bad. So it's saying surrender your ego. Say, angels, please help me. I'm having these negative thoughts. They're not helping me. They're not helping others. They're stopping me from moving forward with my life purpose. So then set your intentions. What do you really want? What do you want to see? For your life what do you want to see in your world what kind of world do you want to live in set intentions this the words on this is pure intention find clarity and surrender your ego so sometimes the ego is like negative chatter it's just like constantly trying to remind you of things that you've done wrong or might happen or might go wrong surrender your ego to the angels they will help you with that and interestingly archangel ariel who came in during the invocation is one of the archangels, along with Archangel Michael, who can help you with your ego. She'll help you to uplift your energy and to see and think about things in a different way, in a positive way. Okay, your guidance card. Yippee. -dee. 
This is the sun, Archangel Uriel. Oh my gosh, I love Uriel. Golden light, enormous golden light around Uriel. Angel of wisdom. He's also a little bit like, if you think about an angel who would be able to counsel you, to give you good advice, but also help you to deal with your heavy emotions. So you can ask Uriel to help you if, if those thoughts are turning into heavy emotions. If you're upset, lonely, beating yourself up, feeling like you're carrying shame and guilt or resentment, ask Uriel for his help. Now, this happens to be one of the most positive cards in the deck. It's the, it's the sun. And you can see Uriel here is holding up wisdom in the form of a scroll, a flame to burn away the negative energy. And the sunflowers are sitting at his feet and a little uh, sand timer. So it's re it's a recognition that positive things are coming your way. Sunshine is about to shine in your life, metaphorically. Good blessings are coming. This is a time of where you can enjoy and relax success, the fruits of your labor. So things are working out well for you. Stay connected with Archangel Uriel and your other angels. Stay connected to the divine. And I guess that's why they're on our on our case about being positive with our thoughts and surrendering our ego because they're saying there's good things coming. You don't want to sabotage it by thinking negatively. So tune into gratitude. Tune into gratitude. When you're grateful, you can't feel negative. So if you're thinking about all the blessings you've had in your life so far, all the blessings that, that are existing right now in your life, even if it's just that you're watching this video, right? You have, you have great abundance if you're able to find a screen and watch this video. Some people in the world haven't got that. So you can, you can tune into whatever really tiny things for abundance. And that then opens the gate to more positivity because like attracts like, like attracts like. The more you're grateful, the more you'll have to be grateful for. And that's a message from Archangel Uriel. So expect inspired ideas. Um, maybe you'll get a brilliant idea about something that's going to give you success or a brilliant idea of how you're going to resolve a problem. That's Uriel working with you this week. And the outcome is Archangel Ariel. You couldn't write about this really, could you? You can't make this stuff up. Seven. Sevens are about moving forward. Keep going, keep going, keep going, even if it's hard, right? You feel like you're trudging up a hill and you're dragging, you know, six backpacks with you. Don't worry. Someone's coming to help you. You're going to get there. Don't worry. So keep going, even if you feel deflated. In this card, it's showing there are, there are good things coming, but you need to be able to have confidence in yourself. Confidence in yourself is magnetic for attracting. You know, if you're saying, I really want a job, I really want to, I really, really want that job, but I don't think I'm good enough. Oh my gosh, look at all the other people that are going for the job. Oh, that person doesn't like me. Oh, this can't happen for me. Oh, remember that. Then you're chipping away at your own confidence. But if you go in there being confident, if you go in there being willing to speak your truth and be clear and, and stand up for your own wisdom, your own brilliance, then that becomes magnetic. And what you want cannot fail to come to you. So the angels are saying, be confident, speak up for yourself in a positive way. You know, standing up for yourself doesn't have to be like, rah, 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 you know, you're a terrible person. It can, it can just be speaking your truth calmly. In fact, that's much more effective. You know, if you say to someone, someone says, I want this, I want you to do this, I want you to do that, and say, I'm sorry, I can't do that. End of. Blessings, I wish you well, I'm going, I'm moving on. Or, you know, you're standing up for something that you believe in or you say, like, I'm really the right person for this job because of this, this and this. That's not negative. That's positive. It's calm. It's confident. It's loving. So the angels are inviting you to surrender ego, to call in positive energy and then be ready to stand up for yourself, your beliefs, your desires and your and your wants. And with that, you are not, you're stepping away from drama, you're stepping away from battles and arguments, you're just being super clear. Not everyone is going to love you, not everyone's going to agree with you, but when you are true to yourself and confident, you attract the right energy. So this, it says, stand up for yourself and your beliefs, have confidence, 
Um, challenge anybody that puts you down, but also choose your battles wisely. It's the number 11, 11, 1, 1, energetic gateway that is opening for you to walk through. So yeah, there might be a few challenges this week, but nothing that you can't handle with the angels by your side. Call on Archangel Ariel, Archangel Uriel, Archangel Michael and the unicorns and your guardian angels and you will get through anything. But it's not a hard week. It's not saying it's a hard week. It's just preparing you for the, the right energy for where you need to be right now. And remember, make a list of those new intentions for the year ahead. I'm sending you loads of love and angel blessings. I can't wait to see you at next month's Sacred Manifesting Attunement with Archangel Metatron and Archangel Sandalphon. I've never worked with these two before, I don't think, um, together in one session. It's going to be really powerful. They're the brother archangels. You're going to love it. If you love these sessions, you'll love my um, Zoom attunements. They're really powerful, and I have time to work on you and do healing as well as teach you all about Sacred Manifesting and those archangels so i'm sending you love for an amazing blessed week filled with abundance may all of your obstacles fall away dissolve disappear and may your heart be filled with love and may you be protected and guided by your angels my name is rachel skulltalk i will see you next monday for the next monday's guidance speak soon thank you so much for watching drop me a comment let me know what you thought how do what does this bring up for you this reading angel blessings